Every time I look at you I'm so glad that you're the one I've been growing closer to As the years have come and gone Sharing for good or ill Hardly a day apart Old or outside but still Turn, Albert. I know it's my turn. Well, get on with it. I'm thinking. It's Scrabble we're playing, Albert, not international chess. <laughs> right. Here we are. C O double S I E. What's that? Cosy. <laughs> Cosy. Yes, yes, that's right. What you wear when you go swimming. A costume. <laughs> the word is costume. I've always called it a cosy. It doesn't count, Albert. Why not? It's not a proper word, Mr Collier. Oh, yes, it is. You go into any draper's shop in Stoke and ask for a cosy, they'll know what you mean. Yeah, but it's slang. You've got to use proper words. Oh. <clears throat> well, I'll have to rethink. Oh, no. We'll be here till Christmas. Oh, dear. Eh. Sissy? Sissy spelt with a Y. <laughs> My auntie Sissy never spelt a name with a Y. You can't have your auntie Sissy. Why not? Because it's a proper word. Now, make up your mind. I can't have Cosy because it's not a proper word, and I can't have Sissy because it is. You're not allowed to use names. <sighs> We've been better off. Playing dominoes. Uh, can I have a rude word? No, you can't. <laughs> and if you can't go, let somebody else have a turn. Hang on. <laughs> sod. I said no rude word. Well, that's not rude. It is the way he uses it. <laughs> oh, come on, we'll allow him that one. Right, that's one. And two is two is four, right? Put that down, Barbara. Right, four to Mr Collier. Uh-huh. Well, um, what's the score up to the moment? Uh, well, Norman's got 53, Mrs Collier's got 44, I've got 41, and you've got six. <laughs> Not doing very well, am I? Luke, I don't want to be a wet blanket, but uh, have you seen the time? Oh, it's nearly half past twelve. I think we'd better go. Some of us have got to go to work in the morning. Aye, and I must get my beauty sleep. I wouldn't bother. It's not done you much good. <laughs> I hope he doesn't disturb you in the night. Who? Oh, Norman? No, Albert. <laughs> Only he snores that loud, I'm sure they can hear him in the next street. Oh, I've never heard him. Me neither. Once my head hits that pillar, I'm out like a light. He's right, Nor. Take a bomb to wake him. You know, one night he rolled over in his sleep, fell out of bed, still never woke up. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I know a good way to stop snoring, Albert. Oh, right, what's that? Stop breathing. <laughs> oh, really funny, I don't think. Oh, it doesn't bother me anymore. I've got myself some earmuffs, and once I've got those on, I, I can't hear a thing. Ah, uh, well, come on, Duck. No, no, I'll see you off the premises. Good night, Mrs Collier. Good night, love. Good night, Norman. Good night. Oh, look at him. He's half asleep already. Come on. Oh, it's a bit nippy. Does that? Cold enough to freeze the balls off? Mr. Collier. It's a pawnbroker sign. Oh, hey, look. It's full moon. You want to watch him, Barbara? It could turn funny. Oh, he's funny enough as it is. Come on, Rip Van Winkle. See you tomorrow. Not if I see you first. Good night. Oh, damn. What's up? This door's got a habit of shutting itself. Don't mind, I got the key. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Did you turn all the lights off? Yes. Did you bolt the back door? Yes. Did you put the milk bottles out? Yes. <laughs> Would you like me to climb up on the roof and see if there are any slates loose? <laughs> There's no need to be sarcastic. <laughs> are 
Are you coming to bed? Are you going to sit there scratching yourself all night? I've, I've got an itch. Can you scratch me back? Where? In, in the middle somewhere. There? Up a bit. Over to the left. You missed it. Back. There it is. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yes. Hey, hang on. You ripped the pyjamas. Come on. Get into bed. They're like ice. You want me to sleep my socks on? No, I don't. Here, have the hot water bottle. Well, why can't we have the electric blanket on? No, we're economising. <laughs> do you have to do that? I'm just making myself comfortable. reading? Next week's paper. <laughs> well, now who's being sarcastic? It's a library book. Agatha Christie. Oh. Is it good? Yes. What's it about? It's about time you <laughs> shut up and let me read in peace. Sorry, you, uh, you carry on. Thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm just, just, uh, just setting it. <laughs> the French windows opened and in walked Hercules Parrot. <laughs> Hercule Poirot. Pardon? It's Hercule Poirot. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I couldn't see proper, yes. He looked round the room... Do you mind? I'm trying to read. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you go to sleep? Well, I'm, I'm not sleepy. Well, you read something, then. I've got nothing to read. There's a paper there. I read it. Oh, you are <laughs> aggravating at times. I'll tell you what. I'll do the crossword. Good. reading? Yes. Oh, that's good. We can talk then. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Ethel? Ethel? I was just seeing if you were asleep. What? I said I was just seeing if you were asleep. Well, I'm not. <laughs> what do you want? Do you fancy a cup of cocoa? <laughs> All I 
wants us to go to sleep. <laughs> now what is it? Good night. Good night. What's that? Sounds like our milk bottle. It's that damn ginger dumb across the road. <laughs> Flags are covered in broken glass. Better go down and sweep it up. Well, can't you leave it till the morning? No, 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 no. I better go, better go, better do it now. Uh, well, if I'm asleep when you come back, don't wake me up. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. <laughs> Is Norman awake? Oh, he was asleep as soon as he's headed the pillar. Well, I've locked myself out. Oh, dear, how'd you do that? That's that damn door he's having sweeping the broken glass into the gutter, and, the, and then, it, then it just swung to, like that. That's how he's locked out. <laughs> just like you are. in a coma. I tell you what, let's snip round the back. It might be a beginning in our house through the kitchen window. Well, what about me? Well, we've got a spare key of your house, you'll be able to get in. Well, come on then, I'm freezing cold. Hello, Norman. Have you seen Albert? No. Have you seen Barbara? No. She's disappeared. So has Albert. You don't think they've eloped, do you? Oh, don't be so daft. They can't just have vanished. Perhaps you'd better look up and down the street for them. Yes, just a minute. I've put the catch on the door. Right, good idea. We don't want to lock ourselves out. You go that way and I'll go this way. We'll meet round the back. Right. Oh, you Mr. Collier, I'm getting frostbite. I'm doing your best. It, it's stiff. So am I. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not sure, Are you all right? Yes. Somewhere in the sideboard. Uh. Norman! Oh. You look. No sign of them. Me neither. Where the heck are they? Perhaps we should ring the police. Hello, that's funny. What? There's a light on in our kitchen. Happen you've got burglars. Well, you better go and look. No, perhaps we should ring no, the police. No, no. <laughs> That's what they thought. <laughs> 
Can't you wake up Mrs. Collier and ask her? No, it's more like that. It's work. Hang on, here it is. Hey, up. There's someone in the kitchen. Bang. We got burglars. I think there's somebody in the other room. Oh, be careful, Norman. Here. Take this. <laughs> Right on by mistake. Barbara. Oh, are you alright, me talk? I think so. Is, is anything anything broken? Yes, my best vase. <laughs> Sorry, Norman, I, I, I thought you were a burglar. Snap. Where have you been? Well, I, I locked myself out. And then it locked me out. Oh, you're not safe to be left alone. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Well, whatever woke you up? Well, I was cold. I turned over for a, a cuddle. <laughs> there you were. Gone. Oh, well, come on, before I catch my death of cold. Oh, well, oh, come on, you can go out the front way, love. Right, well, I'll see you off. You stand where you are. <laughs> Good night. Again. Good night. Come on, no, I'm freezing. I'm going out to my mother. Fancy a nice uh, cup of tea, love? I'll tell you what I would like. What's that? To give you a kick up the backside. <laughs> Come on, let's get to bed. Right, I'll just uh, fetch the brush and look up. I'll do that. You go upstairs. <laughs> Albert? I'm here, love. Oh, I wish you wouldn't keep wandering off. Uh, I was only spending a penny. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to bed. I've got new earmuffs. I'll leave them off in case you decide to flit again. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Ethel. What? Are you tired? <laughs> yes. And I'm certainly too tired for that. <laughs> you know, I don't know what you mean, Lou. You know perfectly well. You've got that fruity look in there. <laughs> Put your light out and go to sleep. Very light. Mm. It's a full moon. Mm. It's funny, isn't it? Think that men actually walked on that moon. Mm. I wonder if there's any life up there in space. There'll be a death down here on Earth if you don't <laughs> show up. Oh, sorry. doing? Just having a pipe. Oh, no, you're not. I've told you before, I don't like you smoking your pipe in bed. No, oh, sorry.
I'm just not sleepy. You're not trying. Do some deep breathing. <sighs> Can't you do it quietly? No. Oh, you know, you're just not relaxed. You're too tense. <coughs> I know a very good thing to relieve tension. <laughs> now, don't start that again. Look, I'll get you to sleep. How? Well, there was an article in my woman's magazine last week. Just lie flat on your back in a comfortable position. Right. Now, say, toes go to sleep. Oh, don't be so damn stupid. <laughs> it's supposed to help you relax. Now, come on. Toes go to sleep. Now, knees go to sleep. Knees go to sleep. Legs go to sleep. Legs go to sleep. Hands go to sleep. Hands go to sleep. Arms go to sleep. Arms go to sleep. Body go to sleep. Body go to sleep. Head go to sleep. Hang on. What's the matter? My toes have just woken up. <laughs> you doing it? It's no good, Ethel. I, I'm just not tired. Well, are you worried about anything? No. Well, yes, I am. I'm worried about the future. Oh, well, I shouldn't worry about that, love. At our age, we've got more past than future. Bye, heck. We've seen some changes, haven't we? Oh, one or two. You happy, love? Of course I am. I wouldn't change you for anybody. Not now Clark Gable's gone. <laughs> you always had a crush on him, didn't you? Never missed a picture. It were Betty Gray were with me. What a pair of legs. <laughs> Remember when we used to sit in the parlour, your parlour, when we were courting? And my dad always thought you were up to no good. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> <coughs> you remember when we became grandparents for the first time, eh? Young Terry's a spitting image of his dad. He favours me well. Ah, it is. Oh, I fell asleep. I know you did, love. <laughs> did you? No, I haven't slept a wink all night. Oh, dear. Well, look, you have a lie in. No, no, Ethel, I'd better get up. Oh, no, you stay where you are. You've nothing to get up for. I'll bring you some breakfast up later. Oh, lovely. Morning, Mrs. Collier. Morning, Norman. Barbara. How's the insomniac? Well, we never slept a wink all night. Oh, it took me ages to get off again. And me? Give over. You were snoring on your way upstairs. Come on. <laughs> Won't be late for work. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Thank you. 